Hey, Will here from PPC Coach. So, are you in a sales slump? I mean, they happen. Don't worry about it. It's part of the business. It, you know, the question is not like, are you in one? You know, you know, you're in one. But how can you break out of one? And that's what I'm going to cover in this in this quick video. I've got ten tips basically that can help you break out of a sales slump with your print-on-demand business. But first, let's look at kind of what causes that sales slump real quick. So there's Three basic reasons that you're going to be looking at uh, when you're in a sales slump. Number one, it's a lack of action. There's always, uh, you get what you put in, right? So if you're not putting any action in at all, and then you find, you know, down the road, you're like, oh, my sales really dropped off with my print on demand products or even whatever it is for your sales slump. Um, it's a lack of action that can be attributed to that. And I've coached a lot of people over the years, and I've always found that the ones that are making the most money, are the ones that take the most action if if there's one key ingredient to success with print on demand or any business really it's a uh, it's action reason number two uh distractions so the shiny object syndrome is very strong online a lot of uh sellers like especially in the print on demand world they get distracted they get they see a big screenshot and then they go buy something like a course or a program or whatever it is and then they'll kind of look at it and then they'll see another screenshot by the next one see another screenshot by the next one and they they really uh marketers are really taking advantage of people this way because i mean the marketers want to make money so they're throwing up all these distractions at you constantly and it is very difficult to beat that but shiny object syndrome is real and and it's it's deadly if you get stuck in that cycle of constantly buying things and never really executing anything you're going to be in trouble uh, the third reason is not as common, but it's called cruise control. And that's when, uh, say, like, especially in the print-on-demand world, again, print, like, the fourth quarter, uh, the run-up to Christmas is the, the biggest time of the year. And so a lot of sellers will focus all, like, 80% of their time, energy, and budget during this time. And they'll make a lot of sales. And they'll do really well all the way up till December. And then January hits. And they kind of put on cruise control. So they might miss Valentine's Day. And then they'll, they'll kind of cruise a little bit more. And then about, oh, I don't know, April or May, they start panicking a little bit. <laughs> and they go, oh, man, I haven't really done anything. I mean, I made a lot of money in the fourth quarter, but now I'm not really making anything. And now they're in panic mode and because they've been on cruise control. They haven't really been doing much with their business at all, haven't really been taking any action. And so they, they're they also entering like the, the slowest time of the year for print on demand, which is basically the summer. So the summer is always slow and then it picks back up. It, it goes like a big roller coaster, basically. So if you've had a lot of success and then you find you're kind of pulling back and you're not taking as much action that got you to that success, that's called cruise control. And, and I, I think I'm an expert at cruise control. I do it all the time. It's not good. There's more, but I mean, those are the three main reasons for a sales slump. So now let's get out of the slump with these tips. So tip number one, we're going to dive right in. Just accept it. All right. Don't fight it. Acceptance is good. Get in the right frame of mind, accept that you're in one. Uh, you, you've you looked at your sales numbers or you've looked at, you know, you get email notifications of sales and they're slowing down a little bit. That happens. Just accept, you know, I'm in one. And then only then can you attack it because you have to identify the problem before you can actually fix it. So accept it. That's tip number one. Tip number two, analyze. So go back and look like what have you been doing? what's your current process and what output has it generated so if you're if if you've been uh consistently uploading products and consistently creating campaigns and consistently uh generating free traffic you're gonna get sales okay but if you look back and you go okay well you know um as an example maybe i bought this course and then for a little bit i tried it uh for like two weeks and then after that i was like well you know it's free traffic i'm not really seeing many results so i'm just gonna put it on the side i'll go find something else maybe a little bit faster so then you go and you you find you start running facebook ads or tiktok ads or or uh, youtube ads or whatever kind of ad campaign you want and then you put like two weeks of effort in, into that and then you go well uh, i got a couple sales there but then they weren't really enough to motivate me so i kind of went and looked for something else you can analyze patterns and you can see what you're doing <laughs> and and typically what you're doing is you're not you're not focused enough you're not um giving it enough effort i'll get to that in a second but if your current process is kind of i i get really excited about something and i dive in head first and then i kind of lose interest when i don't see immediate results then you need to fix that because the output that you're generating takes time so especially with free traffic methods it get like the work you do today will pay off like a month or two down the road it's not going to pay off instantly with 
paid traffic methods, yeah, I mean, the results come faster, but still, you, you can lose a lot of money on the paid traffic methods, and then you can give up too, and you could be, like, literally two feet away from the finish line, and you're giving up. That's not a good thing. Tip number three, <clears throat> form an action plan. So, you know, what's the definition of insanity? It's doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting different results. So if you're in a slump and you're not doing anything, and you're like, well, I got to get out of the slump, but you're not doing anything, then you're not going to get out of the slump ever. So don't be insane. Like, change it up. Make a plan. Do something. Something is better than nothing. And even something at 50% is better than nothing at 0%. So say, you know, I know I'm not being consistent with my actions. Uh, why is that? Okay, I'm being too easy on myself. Maybe I had a good run and then I stop. Maybe I haven't really seen any success yet, so I'm not really motivated. Uh, maybe this isn't for me. Maybe you're having doubts. Uh, maybe you have limiting beliefs that are really stopping you from succeeding in the print-on-demand world. So form an action plan and, and execute it. Okay, um, number four. This should probably be number one, but this is consistency. You have to be consistent in order to get consistent results. So if you ever notice that your actions today equate to your profits tomorrow, whether it's a free traffic campaign or a paid uh, ad campaign, it's true. You can be consistent. Now for me, I, I measure weekly and I take action weekly. So I'll say, you know, I want to upload uh, five products this week. I want to create uh, five new social media assets this week. I want to create um, five new sequences this week for my free traffic. And then I want to launch like five paid ad campaigns for five different products this week. I'm not going to do that daily because we're human and we have bad days. Okay. It's just our emotions go through different roller coasters as well. So there might be days when you wake up and you're like, I just don't feel like doing anything. Maybe you got in a fight with somebody, uh, with a spouse, or maybe your kids are being little jerks. Um, maybe your boyfriend or girlfriend's, uh, giving you a hard time. Maybe you just don't feel like doing something. So, you know, what I say is when you're having a down day, take it off. And I know that's not good for consistency, but it is when you measure things on a weekly basis because you're going to have days where you're ultra productive and it more than makes up for the days where you're not productive at all. All right. So take action weekly and measure weekly, not daily. It, it'll help you out to get out of a sales slump. Tip number five is shift your focus. Now, um, this is something that I learned when I was a financial advisor in my previous life that uh, I used to look at daily numbers and it, it really dragged me down because I had to do a whole bunch of cold calls. <coughs> Excuse me. I even had to go knock on doors, door to door. Door knocking was a way that we were taught to build our business. It was awful. In, in the middle of like the summer or winter, I'd be out knocking on doors and, and it, it, I felt awful like a vacuum cleaner salesman. I mean, I got my book of business up to like, I think it was about $2 million at the time just from doing that, but I hated it. I couldn't stand it. So I would always look at like, daily results and I'd say you know how many sales did I get today how many uh, stock transactions did I do how many uh, how much did I put into mutual funds today for clients and how many bonds did I sell and and it really hurt because um, I looking at daily actions uh, it just hurt me so or sorry daily results not actions so if I shift my focus instead of looking at sales I look at actions I felt better so I could say okay well I didn't really make any commissions today but i know i went out and, and i knocked on like 100 doors and i made and i dialed the phone like 100 times so i did something and that something is going to pay off in the future but it was a shift from sales to actions that helped me big time so what actions did you take today what actions did you take this week if you look at your print on demand business and ask yourself those two questions and you go zero then there's a big problem right there you got to shift your focus okay uh, focus on actions not on results Okay, control what you can control. You cannot control whether somebody buys one of your products, but you can control if you offered it to them. Think of it that way. Now, all of a sudden, it opens up a whole new world, right? Tip number six is motivation. This comes from within, and it also comes from outside, too. So you want to surround yourself uh, with people who speak your language. And that is, I mean, working online. I've done it full-time online from my home since 2007 and it's lonely honestly um it's super lonely so you want to find a group of people who motivate you you want to be able to tell them when you're down tell them when you're up you know post some success everybody posts success and then everybody gets motivated so you want to find a group of people in your shoes and, and that's that's basically why I have, I have my group coaching program because it helps me too to to stay motivated because if you're doing it on your own 
uh, we're way too easy on ourselves. All right. Which leads me to tip number six, which is account accountability. You want to be accountable to someone. Um, you know, you can say, well, I'm accountable to myself, but uh, that's not recommended because we are way too easy on ourselves. We're, we always are, whether it's like making money online with print on demand or uh, trying to lose weight or whatever we're trying to do, we're way too easy. So uh, you want to find a group of like-minded people uh, that you can be accountable to, or even better, a coach or mentor. And you want to find someone to hold you to your plans. So because we are too easy on ourselves, and it doesn't work. It never works when you're too easy on yourself. You won't get the results that you want. So accountability is key. Uh, tip number seven, is we're talking about comparing your results to someone else's. Don't do it. Don't compare yourself to others. Um, I know, like, when you see a big screenshot from a marketer online, don't compare yourself to them. Okay, that will be a negative thing. It's not going to motivate you. It's not going to help you at all. Um, unless you're the type that sees that and says, well, if he's doing that or she's doing that, I know I can do that too. Then that's fine. But that doesn't last forever. So uh, everyone is on a different path and everyone is at a different point on the path. But just know that everyone started from zero. So where you are right now is not necessarily where that person is right now. And in fact, if they're making like, you know, uh, 10,000 a month or a hundred thousand a month or whatever, you know, you see these million dollar screenshots all the time on Facebook groups. Don't compare yourself to them because it's, it's actually going to uh, do the opposite of motivating you. It's going to demotivate you. Okay. You're going to get down on yourself because you're going to think, well, if they're doing that, why can't I do that? I must suck at this. I got to go do something else or I got to find something else to, you know, make me feel better about where I'm, well, my lack of results. And that's, that's what we do a lot as humans too. So just remember, everyone started at zero. Don't compare yourself to them. Tip number eight, get help. Okay. And I know I'm biased and I put that on there, but you have to find a mentor or coach. Uh, they, they can help you. Okay. They know what you're going through. They can help you get back on track, whether it's me or someone else, I don't care, but you have to invest in yourself. So if somebody is charging X amount of dollars and you're like, that's way too much. You have to instead think, man, if they're charging that much, there must be a reason for that. Uh, they must be really good at what they do. Uh, they must be able to help me. And if they're that confident, then I'm confident to pay them to help me to be accountable, to be motivated, to get results, to be consistent, and put all those things in place so that you have results. You break out a sales slump, or if you don't get any sales already, you can you know, <laughs> create some sales. So it's well worth the price they charge. It always is. I know when I first started online, this was in 2005, I was part-time. And I found a mentor and he taught me everything, everything I needed to know. And without him, um, I wouldn't be in this business right now because I, I probably, well, I shouldn't say that. I probably could have figured it out on my own, but it would have taken so much longer. It would have been awful. So if you can find someone who's where you want to be or find someone who can hold you accountable and motivate you and give you a plan and hold you to that plan, that's worth uh, gigantic amounts of money to you because you're going to make that more than that back okay all right tip number nine you get unlimited retries okay it's it's just like quitting smoking i know smoking not too many people do well no actually a lot of people still smoke but i don't but anyway you have unlimited reset tries so just know that really the only time you'll guarantee failure is when you stop trying so give yourself permission to break out of one okay you're human it's okay you can if you if you said, okay, well, Will just gave me 10 tips on breaking out a sales slump. I executed like four of them and then I got right back in the sales slump. That's okay. Go back and do it again. Keep trying. Keep trying. Keep trying. If you want to lose weight, you might go, okay, well, I, I follow my diet religiously for like eight days. And then day nine, I, I, I just fell right off the wagon and it was awful. And I can't do this. And this is, uh, you know, uh, I'm just going to be fat. Um, no, you can get right back on the wagon and retry. You have unlimited retries. You're human. It's okay. That's what we do. We, we, our minds play tricks on us. So you just know that it's okay to take, to give yourself unlimited retries, give yourself permission to break out of something, give yourself permission to fall off the wagon and give yourself permission to get right back on and be happy with that. All right. All right. Last one. There's probably actually a couple more that are coming to mind, but I'll end it with this. Tip number 10 is the college try. Okay. The good old college try, right? Commit to fixing it. So too many uh, people half-ass things. Uh, so don't half-ass anything, whole-ass one thing at a time. And I see this all the time in my business 
people will come into my group coaching program or they'll buy a course or they'll get on a boot camp and then I'll see them taking a lot of action and being super excited and then I see them kind of fade off and I'm like I know what you're doing somebody else came out with something and you bought it and you jumped into that and I'm like that doesn't help you at all don't do that okay if you're going to do anything give it the old college try put 100% of your attention focus and effort into one thing at a time do that one thing and do that one thing only Okay, and this relates back to the, the shiny object syndrome too, which is rampant online. Don't fall for it. Okay, if you buy a course, stick to it. If you get into a coaching program, stick to it. St say to yourself, I'm going to give this three months. I'm going to give this six months. I'm going to, if I buy a course, I'm going to give this minimum three months. And I'm going to do everything that they tell me. And then I'm going to check the results at three months. Okay, but a lot of people buy a course or buy a coaching program and they'll look at like after the first week if they don't have a whole bunch of sales they're like i'm out of here it's like really what are you doing like you you didn't even why did you even come in here like it's just to me as a coach online it's infuriating to watch this over and over and over because i know exactly what they're doing and no matter sometimes no matter what you tell them you, you can't get through them so i'm hoping this video helps people because there are too many that are in sales slumps uh all right so does that help? I, I really hope so. Um, everyone hits sales slumps. Uh, don't get too down when you do. Just know that you're human. It happens. Don't worry about it. I'm a seven-figure seller, and I hit slumps all the time. Like, uh, my last big slump came when Facebook restricted my profile, and I couldn't run Facebook ads. And I was like, oh, man. So I basically took a couple months of just feeling sorry for myself. And then I realized that, nah, that's not me. I got I to gotta break out of this. So I, I applied basically the 10 tips that I just gave to you and now I'm back back up to where I need to be so sometimes uh, it's just a time of year or two all right so especially in the print-on-demand business summers are slower there's nothing we can do about it people are out and about they're not on their computers they're not thinking of buying gifts they're not thinking of buying hoodie shirts t-shirts um, coffee mugs necklaces message cards they're not thinking of that they're thinking of like going and you know going out to the lake or going out to the to their camp or going to the beach or whatever you know having a barbecue they're, they're just not inside whereas the winter sales really pick up because you get into christmas season the christmas run up is fantastic it's the best time of the year then valentine's day is really good then mother's day is really good father's day is really good but um right now uh, as i'm shooting this video it is uh, may so we're entering uh, the three kind of the dark months of the print-on-demand world it doesn't mean you can't make money it just means that if you're at, starting right now and trying to make money and you're thinking things just aren't moving i think now is the best time to get everything in place for the christmas rush so it doesn't matter what time of year it is there's always a reason but just know that in the print-on-demand world summers are slower sometimes it's not the season it's just because i slacked off but anyone can get out of a sales slump. Anyone. I know you can. And if you want some help, I can help you. Visit my site, ppc-coach.com, or send me an email, ppccoach at gmail.com. I've got courses, I've got boot camps, I've got co group coaching program, and I've got one-on-one -on -one that I can offer you. So send me an email, let me know where you're at. Um, I can help you. But if this helped, let me know in the comments. Okay. I haven't really seen any videos on how to break out of a sales slump uh, for print on demand anywhere. So I thought I'd shoot this because I thought it would be very helpful. I'll see you soon. Have a great day.